Hey guys, welcome back to Mountain View Homestead. Uh, today we're gonna be doing bee shed video part two. As you can see, we have the hives inside the shed and they're doing pretty well. Um, as you can see here, we have six PVC pipes sticking out of the shed and that is the entrance for the bees to get into their hives. Um, this allows the hives to stay inside the shed out of the elements while they can still leave the hive if they need to and go out on nicer days like today. Um, the three with the 90 degree downwards are the active hives and these ones here are, um, are capped and do not have a hive in there yet. But we do have swarm traps set up out and about on the property just in case we get some or if any of these hives expand, which after some inspection already, we might get one. Um, now this 90 degree downward bend, uh, it serves one important function and that's hive beetles can't hover and fly up. Um, so, or at least smaller ones. So this will greatly reduce the amount of hive beetles we get inside the beehives and it also allows them to stay a little bit safer. Um, so let's go inside and I'll show you the rest of the shed. Alrighty, and here we are. Here is one of the hives. This is the green hive. It's connected to the green PVC pipe uh, that goes to the outside. It was originally this hive that was in the green nuke um, over by the garden. Um, and to connect the hives to the outside, the entrance to the hive is this PVC pipe and when it has the boxes and the lid on it, this is the only entrance and exit to the hive. This makes it much better to defend, but it also makes it easy to move around the shed as we need to. And so just like that, if we need to, uh, we can add more hives or move hives around. Um, the shed can hold up to six 10 frame hives um, and there's enough room upwards to where we can add boxes, supers, and anything we need. Um, underneath is where we're currently storing the syrup and then over here we have the shelving unit to have all the empty boxes, any extra frames and things like that. So there is still some stuff out and about, still working on how we're gonna organize it, but to make things easier um, with the inspections, uh, I've added these LED lights. There's three on both sides of the shed. It gets very bright, um, as well as the ceiling fan that is above you guys. Um, everything works. Uh, I just don't need it at the moment and the fan's very loud, so it's not gonna be running at the moment. Um, here we have a worktop that we can use to inspect frames closer. We can build more frames out, run wire and things like that without having to do it over the hives. Um, and it's a big space, so if Ashley and I both need to be doing something at the same time, we can. Um, overall, we're extremely happy with this shed. It's gonna make inspecting the hives way easier. We can do it at any time, regardless of whether or not it's raining. In the winter, um, this insulation helps keep it a little bit warmer. Um, so there's nothing really stopping us from getting into the hives. And it also helps keep them safe. Um, the no another huge bonus is the storage. Literally everything we have um, to beekeep, we keep in here. And it's not even all that cluttered. We still have plenty of space. Um, we have the honey extractor over in this corner, and then we have all of our boxes, lids, bases, extra frames and things like that all fitting in here, and everything's not on top of us. So it's fantastic to have a space, and everything's going to be much more comfortable. The shed's helping us stay excited about beekeeping and more hopeful with the winter where we have lost our bees every year since we've started. So by this time next year, hopefully these hives will be the same hives that are in there currently um, and maybe even expanded and we could have a full uh, capacity bee shed. 
which would be great. All right, guys, uh, and that wraps up the bee shed video part two. Uh, we are super excited with how this shed is turning out. Uh, there's still one or two little projects um, left to do. Uh, I have to finish securing all the wiring from the lights and I have to bury this wire and connect it to the house. Currently I'm running an extension cable out here to power everything and I can see that getting a little old pretty quick. Um, but in the meantime everything works great and it makes beekeeping much easier for us. Um, so we're pretty excited for what the season has to uh, offer this year and we're looking forward to learning a lot. Um, we'll keep you guys posted. Thanks.